don't think it needs it. No, we gotta tell him get off the property. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad Garage and today before we get to work on any of the builds there is a few issues that we got to address. Now let's just step over here to this whiteboard that we were brainstorming on today and look at this. We got some Goon Squad Garage problems and the very first thing that we got is dirty and if you scan around this place dude it is an absolute nightmare mess because we have been working on builds left and right. Of course we got the Porsche build going on. We got the GTM. We got the cop car for the burnout competition. We got a house that we're building. The shop that we're closing in on and of course we got the bristol 1000 and my wedding so there is just a bunch of different stuff going on that kind of kept us from cleaning this place up and when this place is cluttered like this dude it it can become a little bit overwhelming. I know at parents' house, we had a much smaller shop and that was hard to take care of. This is a whole different ball game, dude. You know what I mean? A hundred percent, but you know what? We're gonna clean it up and it's gonna make everything a lot better, It's dude. gonna allow everything to flow a lot faster because we're not gonna be like running around scrambling, trying to find tools and just misplacing stuff. So let's just go ahead, take care of the very first thing and then we're gonna move on to the next thing. Check this out guys, so we finally got one half of this garage nice and clean and the other half is still pretty filthy. But you know what, look at this, we got everything organized. We even wiped down the frame machine, all the toolboxes. You could practically eat off that sucker. Matter of fact, that's probably gonna be our new dinner table right I'm there, dude. I'm telling you, man, it looks good finally shining back up again, dude. That is right, and also we reorganized a bunch of stuff in those cabinets, threw a bunch of stuff away, which Pops was trying to save a bunch of stuff. But also what we're gonna do now is probably move on to our next biggest issue is no food. Before we finish up the dirty issue, we gotta have some calories in us because you know what? You can't really work without any food. You, you know can't, man. I think we got like a frozen pizza or something but you know what dude. that stuff slows you down dude, man that right there will put you into a nap dude a put sleep you in a coma. coma dude i'm telling you so right now we're gonna run to the local whole foods and probably grab a couple steaks and fire up the charcoal grill sizzle some stuff up and maybe even grab some healthy snacks what yes, do you sir, think dude. let's go ahead and hop into the truck and get stuff rolling
Alrighty guys, so that dirty can get marked off because the shop got completely cleaned out. It just looks amazing out here. From this wall to that wall, to through all the way around, it's finally breathable in here. The airflow is a lot better, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. If it just feels good, and as for the no food, you can go ahead and mark that off as well because we got our fridge stock. We had some amazing steak with, of course, some dang sauce to just top it all off. So if you haven't copied some, be sure to go on Amazon and get you a bottle. And as for no room i think we can kind of go ahead and mark that off as well because once you clean this shop up you kind of get more room and also we move like the track hawk back there move the parts porsche over there which as soon as we start finishing stuff up on the porsche we're definitely going to get rid of that parts car and we're definitely going to get rid of all those parts on that lift clearing up two spots and as for the smoker craft that thing's probably going to go up to the shop but as the Porsche itself. We need to go ahead and jump over here and mention something. We are just getting some parts in left and right. I mean, we haven't forgot about this thing. Look at that, man. Ooh wee, dude. GT2 RS front bumper OEM looks absolutely incredible. Dude, look how good like the big vents are going to look on the front of this thing, along with that carbon hood. I mean, that is just immaculate, man. Dude, that's a big piece. That's dude. a huge piece. It looks super sweet. It almost looks like it's just coming together super fast. And we're waiting on the other parts, which should be in within a week or two. Within a week or two, we're going to have our fenders. Those are going to look super sick big with the wing. vents, big wing, the deck lid, and the rear bumper, dude. That's one of those parts that we are super excited to get in. That's going to be incredible. And then we're going to start piecing this. This beauty together yes dude. sir i can't wait to finish that sucker up and also we sent off our lamborghini in our r8 so there's actually not yeah. that big of an issue of room in here you know yeah, what i mean definitely clean some stuff up and we may even get maybe like a marina storage for our new boat that'll be pretty nice so yeah. we'll look into that but right now it's perfect where it's at and the next thing is trespassers guys i mean you guys know we've been having issues around here left and right there even has been people pulling in onto our topsoil which kind of damages it because it flattens it out it's super soft they pull in some cones get stolen left and right people pull in on bikes as you guys seen just people dancing, dancing illegally which which is crazy i mean that's that stuff is not like too major but you know we want to keep an eye out i mean right now we're just on 24-hour surveillance always getting alerts and stuff like that and we also talk to some local police officers that say they survey the area they run around more often now which is just an awesome thing dude, dude. super awesome yes, right sir. there so honestly we can go ahead and mark off trespassers because we are getting a fence in a couple of days dude a couple of days maybe like in five days which that's just gonna be crazy seeing the fence go up it's gonna fit, look like the finished product that dude. is right but anyways before we continue on our police car we're gonna finish and finalize that sucker up for the race yeah. for the burnout competition we got something right here dude, dude don't even look over here look at this man i just want to just open all this stuff up and just start working but this is for you guys right here so what we're gonna do from today till midnight we're gonna be selecting a few random people that are gonna order some off of the website off of gunsquad.com and you may receive one of these mechanic tool sets uh impact a bluetooth milwaukee speaker i mean we got some epic stuff led flashlights just stuff to get your project whatever you're working on moving a little faster dude, dude. i know is, those projects take a little bit yes. of time but we're gonna help you yeah, out Yeah, this dude. is something that we just want to do just to give back to everybody that supports us you know what we're gonna just be throwing stuff in random orders there's some pretty cool stuff right here and this is just the beginning dude yeah this is just the beginning so be sure to visit goonsquad.com copy a hat copy a t-shirt support your boys but as of right now let's just go ahead run around town see if we can get some brand new tires for that cop car and get that thing ready
Alrighty guys, so check this out. We ended up doing a few more things to the cop car. Of course, we topped off all the fluids, threw on some brand new treads on this sucker, and we added some fuel additive. That way we get some more ponies out of this sucker and also some cooling additive just to keep it nice and cool as we're spooling that supercharger right there. But anyways, we ended up making a phone call to the junkyard and look what they had in stock right here. A LSD limited slip differential because the one that's on it right now is actually an open diff. And this sucker is just a one wheel pill machine right here. We want both of those tires to spin evenly and it to burn the tread evenly and also make double the clouds. You That's know what I mean? right. We were doing one wheel pills. It was super hard to even spin this thing, make it drift. And this right here, boys, this thing right here is going to make this thing spin. Dude, dude. This is going to be a whole different ball game. This is going to allow you to drift in the drift box or in the burnout box. And also it's just going to be so much better control and all that good stuff. And this is compatible. We just got to remove that one, swap this one in and we'll be good to go. But in the next video, I think we're going to probably do that. And also we're going to add some details cows on the side it's gonna look super epic that's just gonna be pretty much a wrap for today's video guys thank you guys so much for all the love and support definitely be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace